You're very welcome back. Now, illegal dumping is the scourge of towns and country, and despite the efforts of the county councils around the country, it remains an ongoing battle to pursue and find the dumpers. Often the cleanup is costly, and it's the taxpayer who is footing the bill. Brenda Dunhoe visited Waterford County Council to find out how bad the situation is. In Ireland, there's at least 30 tonnes of waste dumped illegally every single day in this country. All counties are battling this problem, and I've come to Waterford to see exactly how they're tackling their problem of illegal dumping. We know illegal dumping is a huge problem all over the country, but what's your experience here in Waterford? In Waterford, we spent an awful lot of money trying to invest in, in tourism and trying to promote Waterford as, yeah. a, as a place to visit. You know, uh, we have our we spent an awful lot of money here in the Viking Triangle. We spent an awful lot of money on the Greenway. But we have, in 2017, we had 1,200 complaints of illegal dumping reported to us around uh, the city and county. We spent about a million euro cleaning those up last year. You know, it's money which could be better spent on other things. Mm. You know, so like some of it is, uh, you know, one or two black bags dumped on the side of the road. Or some taking cases, there are much larger quantities where someone has paid someone to take collected up waste. Instead of getting a skip, they've paid a, an illegal operator to take waste. And that ends up being dumped at the side of the road. It's not acceptable for people to do this. If you see someone doing it, say something. I think Niall made it very clear there how big the problem is here in Waterford. I'm going to see what it's like on the cold front. I'm going to meet Paul Flaney's Environmental Inspection Officer here in Waterford County Council. Paul, how are you? How are you, Brenda? How are you? Nice to meet you. And you. So this is it. This is your domain. This here. is my domain. Um, what are we doing today? We're, today we're in the process of just reviewing some CCTV. If you want, I can run you through it and show you what, yeah. what we catch on CCTV around the city. Okay. So this is this guy, he's getting out of the car. You can just barely make out the black sack that's in his hand. Is he so he's putting the... the black sack under a tree here. Oh my god. From the car. You've got the registration. Have there, the registration. So. Yeah. We'll get the information off that. Let's just see if... How much will he get fined there? It's a hundred and fifty euro fine printed. The other one we're going to have a look at there is one um, that was recorded. Sure. This is actually half six in the morning. I was sitting out um, doing surveillance on this area from half past four. What? Yeah. As you can see, the guy is walking up carrying a bag of rubbish. Leaves it at the bin. Doesn't even look Turns around. Turns on his heels done. and walks away. He ended up getting a fine out of it. Mm. And um, the rest, as I say, is history with that. Is this your complaints list? This is the complaints list that we have ongoing. Dog fouling, illegal dog dog fouling. My good noise. If you wish, you're, you're more than welcome to join me for the for the afternoon. <laughs> Have you any good jokes? For oh, the plenty of jokes. Yeah. Plenty of jokes. <laughs> good, good, good. This is one of our calls that came in earlier on today. Okay. Um, as you can see, there's about six or eight black sacks of rubbish. I'm kind of nosy, so I, I I don't mind this bit. Well, as you can see, Brenda, it's. Most domestic uh, household rubbish yeah. in it. We have a. Uh, Hair shorts, bit of a oh, kebab. <laughs> Sorry, the kebab has gone all mouldy. Can I have a look at these boxes You can here? indeed. Because they've just thrown boxes as well. You know what there is? We have something there now, you to be honest with you. There. We have an address. See, I'm good at this. <laughs> you sure? maybe, maybe it's a career change. I wish I could help you, Paul. No, Brenda, I'd love you to be able to yeah. watch your look against uh, health and safety. I'm all for health and safety. Other than that, I would help. You know this. <laughs> we were just at St. Clamel. Yeah, a place called Ferrybridge, Brenda. Uh, uh, yeah, and I have to say, the most incredible scenery. Beautiful countryside. And it's not often I'm genuinely shocked, but I really am because look at the amount that's been dumped. There's a considerable amount of rubbish dumped here, Brenda. It's disgusting. Yeah, can, it's... can we have a look at it? We can indeed. Yeah. Look there, what's that? That's um That's a kid's bike. Oh. You know, again, a lot of cans, tins. So everything there is recyclable. All recyclable. Sorry, I... You know what, there's just no no sense or meaning to it. Tell me, I mean needles must be a big issue or Yeah, I have had a needle stick injury. Searching bags of rubbish. Yeah. Um stepped back into the into the bags and got a jab into the back of the leg. And what happened then? Uh, blood test straight to the hospital, informed the office straight to the hospital, blood tests over 12 month period. 
and again, it's not just myself that it, that it affected, it affected my whole family. For 12 months, 12 months. we got the all clear? Yeah, yeah, until we got the all clear. And you're married with kids. I'm married yeah. with kids, two kids, yeah. one eight and one thirty. It's not a 12 months that I'd like to put over no. me again, let alone for my family, you know. I wish I could help you, I wish you'd let me help. No, Brenda, I won't let you do it. I wouldn't like to put you in the same position as I was in. You must have a fair bit of evidence now as to where this rubbish actually came from. We do, we have a, have a good bit of evidence there now, so uh, we have bills, school letters, we have school books, so yeah. you know, we, have a, we yeah. have a bit to go on. Somebody has to clean it up. Somebody has to clean it up, we have the clean up team here. How much will this person, if you can track them down, get fined for this? If they're convicted of the, of the, of the offence, it's 3,000 euros. What has been an absolute eye-opener for me was not the fact that people dump waste illegally, but the fact that the waste has been dumped, so much of it is recyclable. What a waste of resources and destruction to this gorgeous countryside out here that I've seen today. Big thanks to everybody in Waterford City and County Council. Now, our next guest, we're chatting away already. Uh, <laughs> she, um, our next guest, she must have thought that she was dreaming when she went from being a bus 